Hello everyone, this is King Kunaochi. This video I will show you how to use this A4 board. Uh, you can use the IR to control your remote uh, like this TV or air condition. You can use this board can control your TV or any other IR device. Uh, like this, I can use this to uh, transmit the IR signal. And this is for learning. Learning this remote signal and used by the ESP Home for Home Assistant. And you can see if I press this button, I have created on the Home Assistant. I click, and you can see uh, this blue LED uh, is blink, and the TV is on because I have learning this power button. And you can see the TV uh, is on, and I can press again this button. Uh, you can see the TV is off. Uh, so we can learn many uh, different buttons from this remote uh, for the Home Assistant. Now I will tell you how to do with it. Uh, you can see how to create this button. I can delete this. Uh, delete this card. Delete and delete. And you make sure you have installed the add-on uh, for the ESP home. And this you can create an A4 board and we can press the edit uh, because this is important for configuration for the IR signal. And you can just uh, copy uh, this configuration from our form. And this is lesson 30, how to decode IR signal and the country or air condition and the TV by the ESP home. So you can see this code uh, is uh, it's very easy. Now I have copied uh, to this uh, home assistant. And you can see uh, this is Wi-Fi and your loudest SSID and the password. And this enables the web service at port 80. Uh, so that, so we can, you can see, I can use the web, the URL for the IP address in web browser. And I also can turn on the TV or turn off the TV. And we go on. And this, you can see, this is the remote receiver. And this is transmit. And this is the receiver uh, for the GPIO. This is number 20. Three, uh, which you can, uh, where you understand uh, this pin number, you can see our A4 board that diagram. Uh, you can see uh, this is ESP32, and you can see, and this is IR receive, and this is IR send. So this receive GPL is 23, and this send is 22, uh, which is receive, uh, this is receive. Uh, this is send, this is send, and this is receive. So we can define uh, this pin. Uh, you can see 23, and the dump, oh, just all information have saved. And you can see this is the transmit. The transmit is the number is GPI is 22. We have, uh, we have checked uh, from this diagram. And this is the current percent. Uh, this should be changed to 50%. Because you can see at here, uh, the remote transmit, uh, the IF for IR remote and for IF remote. The IF device, how to use, I will uh, make the video toy in next lessons. And this, we can see the IR. So from the, for the IR, you need to change to 50%. And go on. And now you can create the switch, uh, the plan for uh, template. And this number is called TV power. And if you press on action, uh, that will be sent the NEC code. And the address and the command, uh, later I will tell you how to get the address and how to get the command. Uh, this just when turn on and turn off, uh, just send this address and the command for the signal. And by the NEC code, uh, I will tell you uh, why use this code. And this, because if your TV have one button for on and off, so uh, these two sections can be seen, uh, just send sync command. If your TV or your remote have two, two buttons, uh, so, yeah, so you can use uh, for on and for off uh, by the different address and the command. Okay, uh, we can press save and install. We can press save and install. And now we can choose this USB cable because uh, our A4 board is connected with this 
a Raspberry Pi uh, by this USB port. So I can click this button, a USB uh, server, and we begin to download uh, the freeware. Okay, now begin to work. You can see it connect uh, successfully uh, for Home Assistant. Now the blue text is the output, the logo. And now you can use this remote, and you can see this is receive. I can press this button, and uh, in front of this uh, receive module, and I can press, and you can see this information is output. You can see I can press again, uh, the information is again. Uh, you can see this button have turn on the TV and turn off the TV. And we just you can you can see uh, this have low. This is the low of the code, uh, code. And this is GVC code. And this is received at LG code. And this is received by NEC code. The so NEC code is mostly widely used. So we can copy, copy this code and to the notepad. And you can see uh, this three items. Then we can see the ESP home. Uh, you can see there are many different uh, the protocol of the IR. Uh, you can see here Sony and this is NEC. This we will use the NEC code. It will be easy. And this RC5 and Sony and Panasonic and Samsung. And uh, so we can go to this ESP home and uh, you can see the edit. This is address and a command. Uh, you can see this address, NEC address, and this is command. So you can see this address uh, is this one, and this command is this one. So, uh, so one IR signal consists with the address and the command by the NEC code. So that will be very easy to decode and send this command. So we can see, uh, you can see the address and the command and the repeat. Uh, you can delete or not delete. Uh, we can just, we have send uh, 10, uh, 10 times. Uh, so and every wait time is uh, 50 milliseconds. And if you want to uh, let the volume up and the volume down, you can see, I can see the logo file. I can see the logo file. I can press the volume up. And you can see uh, this is uh, NC code. It has the different uh, different command. Uh, the address is same, but the command is different. If I press the volume down, you can see. Okay, uh, you can see this is a different command. So that means the every part of the IR remote have a different command. We just rem remember the command and the address, so you can send any of the buttons you can create on Home Assistant. So this is why we can send this command uh, just by these uh, sections. And now you can just close and uh, we can go to the this configuration and the integration. And you will find uh, the A4, you can see three devices I have. This last one we have created, uh, this is IP4 have created. So you can see this is a TV power. And we can press, uh, you can see the TV is off. And I can press again. Uh, you can see uh, the TV is on. Uh, there I have some data. Uh, the TV is on. Now I can press edit to Lovelands. You can see I can edit this. And you can see the overview. And we'll have this button. Uh, this button is a switch uh, like this. I can press, uh, you can see the TV is country. But if you want to create a button, not this switch, uh, you just add the dashboard and add a card and add this, this button. And you can choose uh, this button is TV power. And this icon, this icon you can change by these options. Uh, you can find, uh, I have found a web page, uh, many, many, many icons, uh, many, many icons. So you can choose which one you want to use and just click and you will see uh, the icon number, name. And so you just uh, fill in this black and we can press the save. 
And now you can excite and you can click uh, this TV uh, will be constrained uh, by this button. Uh, Home Assistant and on your mobile phone, if your mobile phone have installed the Home Assistant. So this is very easy uh, for this TV. And if you want to decode country by the air condition, you can also, we can go to ESP Home and press the logo, USB cable. And you can see, I, uh, this I can change the different temperature. Uh, you can see, I can turn on, turn on the air condition uh, like this, turn on and uh, turn off the air condition. And uh, there are many information because the air condition will have many information for the temperature and uh, the fan speed. And you can see uh, this have received the sensor a bit. And uh, this is touch bar, uh, air condition. This is RC code. So you just find out uh, this, this code number and uh, the number uh, you can find in this, like this sensor or this is touch bar. Uh, so you can also, like the last time, we have copied this command uh, to this send uh, just uh, for the transmit and uh, not for the NEC. Just you can change it to Panasonic, uh, Toshiba, or sensor. So this is very easy for you to use by the air condition air remote. So if you have any air remote, uh, just use this copy and uh, learning this button and uh, send by the customer uh, button will be very easy. Okay, thanks for watching.